Uh, just want to say it's a real pleasure for us. Oh, you must welcome. You're welcome to come. Nice, and yes. I hope everything was well. And, yeah, uh, thanks very much. Yeah, yeah. We were just coming down from uh, Ottawa. Okay. And uh, we saw a stop by, and we really appreciate your uh, hosting us. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, our main objective uh, is uh, one of our MPs, uh, Christy Duncan, uh, has put forward a bill. Okay. Bill C six hundred five, and that bill is to help. Uh, I don't sickle cell, okay. you know, because what we have now in Toronto, anyways, is uh, we have one uh, Toronto General Hospital, which is the only hospital that caters for people with sickle cell that are above the age of 16. Right. And the whole idea is if we could just get this bill passed, then it will be a national thing where everybody suffering from this disease okay. and get some sort of a good, uh, good. Yeah. Uh, good uh, treatment. Uh, you know. I hope everything goes well. You know, yeah. so, so we are on a 500 uh, kilometers journey on uh -huh. the touch of life. Right. And the whole idea is to try and touch as many cities okay. as possible, creating more and more awareness of the, of the, of the disease and the bills so far. As I said, if you get it passed, oh, that's like 90% of our job done right there. Wow. You know? yeah, so and the, on, you know, the only way we could do it is by getting assistance from business people like yourself, and we met with uh, awesome. Mayor LeBlanc this afternoon. Oh, okay. And she welcomed us with open hand. And, uh, oh, that's great. So we met some of the members of our council and things like that. And, uh, and hopefully, God's willing, tomorrow morning we'll be on our way to one of the new towns in Perth. Oh, you're so right. we'll, we'll be going there tomorrow morning. And uh, this is the touch of life that this touch was actually blessed by Pope John Paul II about uh, nine really? years ago. And uh, our intention sometimes this year, hopefully, is to, for the 10th anniversary, is to take it back to Vatican City uh, in Rome. Wow. And, you know, so, and it's, it's been all over the world, basically. That's good. You know, so Very we, interesting. Oh, yeah. It's been all over the world. That's good. And, uh, so I'm going to ask you to... You know, if you can look towards us, to be that's yeah. it. Nice. So, yeah. yeah, so it, it, uh, yeah, the closer you are in a photo. In 
1995, I was told I only had a couple of days to live. My first thoughts were, why me, God? Today I'm still alive because a very special family gave me that precious gift of life. That's why I'm walking 12,000 kilometers across Canada to say thank you and hopefully provide life for others. citizens of Perth, uh, we'd like to present you with this uh, small token, a small gift. Uh, when you're on your trip, you guys can all munch on it. It's all full of goodies. Uh, and uh, really, uh, congratulations on this effort to tackle sickle cell anemia, which is uh, an incredibly destructive disease. Unfortunately, it's something that people inherit and have no control over. But uh, with more money and more research, we'll get this done. Uh, so there you go. Thank you so much, sir. And I'm also going to give, give, give you a copy of Seducing the Vote, a book that I wrote, this is a shameless plug, when it comes to seducing the vote and knowing what really occurs in politicians' mind, buy, 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 they make great gifts. There you go. Thank you so much. And I also want to thank the young people of Perth District Collegiate Institute. What a wonderful group of young people. Thank you so much for coming down. Uh, yeah, come up, uh, give, uh, come, come, come up front. Here. Come up here. Come up here. Come on, stuff. Come on down to the boss. And just a big thank you to uh, all these wonderful young people, future, future leaders of our community to be here for this, uh, for this great event. So thank you very much. <laughs> all right. Yeah, we uh, step by step, uh, okay. uh, I'm actually probably know George Pichello is the CEO for the yeah, I'm the chairperson for the okay. I, I personally work Freshmanly with Toronto Police. Um, I've been with Toronto Police for about 73 years now. Okay. And I, I heard George's story, it touches my heart, so I said I'll join him as well. Okay. My daughter also has a kidney disease, so she's on the waiting list for kidney transplant. Okay. So when uh, <clears throat> we sat down together with a well, um, kidney or any part of the organ right. uh, could suffer as a result of sickle cell. Right. And sickle cell is one of those diseases that uh, very little is known about. Right. So we contacted a couple of our MPs in Toronto, okay. including our MP Duncan, right. and she put forward a bill in Ottawa. Mm -hmm. If this bill is passed, Bill C-605, it's going to make life so easier for people suffering from sickle cell. Okay. Because the key thing that we are going through right now is that all kids under the age of 16, right. yes, they can go to sick kids hospital, or any sick kids hospital at all, but adults or teenagers, there's only one hospital in Toronto okay. that they can go to. Now, there's been situations whereby they go to, say, uh, emergency hospitals, and the doctors are not aware of what to do. They have no clue. So with the help of these bills, 605, right. now it becomes mandated that every hospital should be first on what to do if our kids are not with us at all. So it's brought a lot of awareness? So it should bring a lot of awareness. Okay. So we started the press release in Ottawa on, on Tuesday mm -hmm. <coughs> with our MPs and doctors and influential people over there. And so what we've been doing since then is we try to accomplish about 32 kilometers a day, mm -hmm. stopping in every town along the way wow. to bring awareness to mm -hmm. So of course, Perth is the day is today. So okay. we met with the mayor already mm -hmm. and uh, then George told me that uh, uh, you've been kind enough to allow us to stay here tonight. And I, of course I said to him, are you sure? <laughs> you don't have any budget. No, it's, so, our, it's our pleasure and uh, we believe in your cause. <coughs> Thank you so much. And, uh, yeah, we're glad that you're coming to stay with us. Oh, yes. Now, unfortunately, of course, I wouldn't be able to stay with you. Yeah, we just found out he has to leave. I'm going to be leaving in about an hour. He's coming back, though. 
Yeah, he, uh, he, see, he's been allowing me to stay in all of the hotels before. Okay. Uh, not as grand as this. As soon as we get here, he said, no, you go back to the yeah. <laughs> And I carry the gun, so I mean, you can see how, you know. So I'm going to be going back to Toronto to arrange okay. for the news media and everything. Great. Because this will end in Toronto uh -huh. on the 17th of February. Great. And it's going to end at uh, Queen's Park. Okay. So which is going to be sort of like the grand finale. So I want to, I want to be there to make sure everything is in place. Of course. Then I'll join him back again and the group in Coburg. Okay. On the 12th? On the 12th. On the 12th. Okay. And then we'll start all over again. Okay. But in the meantime, we I, I can't... Uh, the only way I can express this to you is someone said to us uh, yesterday with all the blizzard and everything going right. on. How come you guys chose mm -hmm. such a lousy weather to do this? <laughs> and I say to her, I says, well, when you really, really think about it, the pain that we're going to have to go through walking in the snow, in the slush, right. is nothing compared to the pain these people go through in the hospital. In the hospital. Right? Because yeah, ours is very temporary. Mm -hmm. So I said, we, we don't mind, but we'll do it. You know, so, which is very true. So, we really, really, really appreciate it. And what I say to George is true. If I can, if you would mind giving me one of your business cards. Okay. What I like to do is when I get back to Toronto, uh -huh. to uh, give it to the chief of police and also let him know the good work you've been doing for us. So at least he can send you a letter of thank you himself. Oh, well, thank you very so, much. It'll be a certificate. It'll be, well, it can be framed. Uh -huh. and, uh, okay. Yeah, so. yeah we gladly put it up. Yeah. Good. So we really, really appreciate it. And, uh, uh -huh. yeah, so. And I said to the uh, mayor this afternoon, I've been with Toronto Police as a staff for 32 years, but I think I, after being here now, I think I'm probably going to want to retire here, you know, so right. Absolutely. <laughs> it's a wonderful time to retire. Oh, yes. so okay. Thank you. So, so maybe now we can do the torch passing. Uh, yes. Okay. And we'll take a few photos. I will. Yes. Uh, okay. And one second. Okay. Okay. 